Hello po muli. Ang ating topic po ngayon sa pulse diagnosis ay rapid fall shumai. So rapid falls. The rapid falls is usually falls where there are more than 80 beats per minute. What defines a rapid pulse will depend on the person's age. The rapid pulse is always sign of heat. At tandaan po natin, laging pag rapid ay init. Heat agitates the heart, accelerating its circulation of blood. The strength of the pulse will determine if it is yin deficiency, heat, or excess heat. So, Huwag po natin malalam, mararamdaman yung lakas. Kung siyempre kung deficient, eh weak, pero kung excess, strong. The depth of the pulse will determine in which aspect of the body is located. Hindi po balikan natin siyempre kung superficial ay nasa exterior. Pag deep na po, ito ay nasa interior na. Involved na yung ating mga organs, internal organs. Even though a past pulse always indicates the presence of heat. The opposite is not always the case. There are several situations in which the pulse is not rapid, even though there is heat. In some of the situation, the lack of speed in the pulse has diagnostic relevance. In others, it does not. Some of the reason that the pulse is not rapid, so kahit meron po may init, hindi pa rin mabilis, Kung ang mga tao ay yung mga lot of sports or very physically active. Tapos yung mga taong may inom po ng gamot. Yung mga taong old age. Yung mga taong may mga dati ng dump heat. May mga plema. Then, the heat is chronic and has weakened cheek. So, sobra na maraming init yung katawan nila. Pinahina na yung cheek ng katawan. Then you may mix pattern where there is both heat and cold. Concurrent kidney yin deficiency and kidney yang deficiency. Ayun po yung parirong deficient na. Masyado nang mababa yung level ng mga energy ng kidney. Then yung may true cold or may false heat. Ayun po yung nag, may mga pulse na hindi nagra-rapid kahit may init. There are all situ situations where the pulse is rapid, even though the person does not have a heat imbalance. This will usually be due to temporary presence of heat in the body. Halimbawa po dito, syempre yung kumakit sa agdanan, eh bigla talaga mag, magpapaspals ka dyan kasi pagod. Then will we have generated warmth in the body? So the person's face will be red. They will sweat and their pulse will be faster than normal. These are all heat signs indicating that the person has heat in the body right now. This is, however, a temporary condition with no diagnostic relevance. Kasi pag nagpahinga sila po, magno-normal uli yung kanilang pulse. Kaya no diagnostic relevance. So other condition po that can cause the pulse to temporarily accelerate are Pag may mental stress, pag nagagali tayo, talagang nagpapaspals tayo dyan. Irritability and anger. Then, pag may shock, overexertion in the patient who is chi and blood are deficient. Kung tayo kinakabahan. So, rapid pulse pattern of imbalance goes off heat. So, typical combination po. Pag rapid po ang pulso na walang lakas, yan ay yin shu heat. Ibig sabihin, mababa po yung yin. Yung deficient, deficient. Kaya heat yung naramdaman. Rapid and forceful excess heat po yan. Rapid and superficial, papasok pa lang po yung heat sa ating katawan. Invasion of exogenous heat. Rapid and deep, ibig sabihin, ang heat ay nasa internal na po ng katawan natin. Internal heat. Rapid and slippery, meron na pong phlegm heat or damp heat dati yung katawan natin. So pulse description, the rapid pulse has 6 beats 
or more to each breathing cycle. So, guide po natin yung ano, yung 4 to 5 yun ang normal. So, pag more than 5 yun ay rapid na. In modern clinical practice, a pulse is defined as being rapid when it beats more, more times than the values indicated under the slow pulse above. For example, a pulse rate of 82 years old in the uh, 82 beats in the age range of 16 to 35 years old indicates a rapid pulse. Yung guide po natin kanina, natin lang po ninyo yun. So basta tumaas doon, rapid pulse na po yun. A pulse is rapid and beats over five times yung description po niya. Pra practitioner's breath, 90 to 140 beats per minute with a re regular rhythm. So the pulse frequency is more than five beats per breath. 90 to 140 beats per minute. So translation, ito po yung fast. Ayan po yung ano natin. Ano. So pag more than 90 to 140, rapid po yan. Beats per minute. So clinical significance, the rapid pulse always indicates heat. Hindi po natin kundan, ano? Kabalik na to ng slow. So pag fast, heat po yan. Which may be full or empty. Pwede pong full or pwede empty. Depending on the weather, the pulse is full or empty. So a typical example of pulse that is rapid and the full type are rapid, wiry. Pinulit po dito, natanda na natin, pag may wiry, ano organ ang involved? Lagging, liver. So rapid and wiry, pwede pong ang liver ay may fire. Or rapid slippery, nagsasabi po na to, or phlegm fire. So, example of pulse that is rapid of the empty type are rapid fine. So, nagsasabi po ito na ay kulang siya ng yin with empty heat. Pag kulang po ng yin, yun, with empty heat, or rapid and floating empty, also indicate yin deficiency with empty heat. Pag nagkukulang po ng yin, andun po mapasok yung mga empty na word, empty heat. Kasi bumababa siya eh. Nawawala sa level yung yin, kaya yung heat, nagkukulang din kay empty heat. It is important to stress that in yin, deficiency, so pag mababa yung yin, a rapid pulse indicates the presence of empty heat rather than yin deficiency itself. This is manifested by the pulse being either fine or floating empty. So this is equivalent to the situation and tongue diagnosis when in yin deficiency, a red tongue body indicates the presence of empty heat rather than the presence of yin deficiency itself. Kinumpere po po sa tongue diagnosis natin ano. So pag red tongue na po yan, red tongue, wala na tong coating, kaya yin deficiency. Body indicates the presence of empty heat, and which would be manifested by the absence of coating. You know, as in Abe, wala nang coating, kaya yin deficiency or presence of empty heat. Yin deficiency is indicated by a floating empty pulse. It is only when it is in addition, addition rapid that empty heat is indicated. So, yung mararamdaman natin ay floating empty pulse. As mentioned above, under the slow pulse, according to the book of Classic of Difficulties, so relates the rapid pulse to problem of the young organ. So pag naalala natin nung isang gabi na tinuro natin na ang rapid pulse ay sa young organs at yung pag nag-slow, karaniwan daw ay yin organ ang naapektuhan. And the slow pulse to problem of yin organ. Ayan ako. Of course, this is a broad generalization that suffers from exemption. So may exemption naman po. Kasi kung may liver fire, nagmamanifest po ito na rapid pulse. So yung liver is a yin organ. So common condition that present with the rapid pulse are, yung pag may stomach heat, mainit yung bituka, 
heat in the intestine, my lung heat, my liver fire, heart fire, yun deficiency with empty heat, lamb heat, lamb heat and envision of wind heat. In rapid pulse, also seen in the Lilium syndrome. I described the purpose of chapter three of the synopsis of prescription from the Golden Cabinet. And research po natin yan. So common condition manifesting with a rapid pulse. So nakakaramdam po tayo sa pasyente ng rapid pulse kung siya ay mayroong stomach heat. Kung meron siyang heat sa large intestine. Alam natin ang mga sign and symptom niya na no. Siyempre kung may heat sa large intestine, yun nahihirapang magdumi. Pag may langit, oh, yung mga madilaw ang plema. Pag liver fire, yun, minsan namumula yung mga mata niyan. Heart fire, yung mga dulo ng dila, mapula. Empty heat, phlegm heat, damp heat, and vision of wind heat. So mga fast rapid, uh, rapid pulse po yan. So in fevers, whether of internal or external origin, the pulse should be rapid. Kung may fever na po, madalas talaga, nasa labas man yan o nasa loob pa lang, papapasok pa lang, nagpapas na po yung pulse. This is a uh, serious. So, the pulse should be rapid. If it is not, hindi raw po rapid at may lagnat siya, serious sign po yun. So, there are few situations in which a rapid pulse does not indicate heat because the clinical manifestation do not point to heat. So, kung maramdaman daw po natin ang rapid pulse, so it is important to check this against the tongue and the inside of the lower eyelids. So, tingnan po natin yung dila. Dapat ma-coordinate natin na red ang dila kung pass yung kanyang pulse. Yung lower eyelid, pwede pong namumula. Namumula talaga kasi nga ay init. So, in true condition of heat, the tongue will be red and inside the lower eyelids will be also be red. The following are example of situation in which the rapid pulse does not correspond to heat. So the pulse can become rapid following an emotional upset. Yan, pag merong matinding emotion, emotion. Halimbawa, mayroong pong shock or so bigla kang nagalit, outburst of anger. So thus, if we see a patient whose clinical manifestation do not point to heat and the pulse is rapid. We should always ask whether the person has had an emotional upset re recently, within hours or days. The simple question sa uh, chapter 17 po says, a rapid pulse may indicate that the person has suffered a sudden fright and the pulse will, be, will revert back to normal in 3 to 4 days. Ay, matagal pong bumalikan, no? 3 to 4 days bago mag-normalize uli yung iyong pulso kung ikaw ay may matinding takot. The pulse can become rapid when a person suffering from chi and blood deficiency works very hard pushing himself or herself to limit. Siyempre, eh, pilitin mo naman yung sarili mo magtrabaho na magtrabaho mo, exhaust na po yung chi and energy, yung chi and blood. In such a case, the pulse become rapid. So yung mga nag-overwork po, yan, rapid pulse na po yan. Manifestation and empty of the body's key to hope with such demand. Nagkukulang na, syempre kung dapat natutulog ka na, pero di ka natutulog kasi gusto mong taposin yung paperwork mo, kulang na yung chi. Yan, mag-rapid pulse na. According to Dr. J.H.F., Shen described the situation as chi wild when the pulse is overflowing. The complete book of Jin Yu Wei, Wei confirms this by saying that one of the cause of the rapid pulse may be the exhaustion in Xu Lao. If the pulse is rapid and big but also empty, it may indicate severe exhaustion of essence and blood, which occurs also without empty heat. Ayun po. Kaya kung gano'n ang mga pulso, nararamdaman natin na halos gamit na gamit ko na yung energy ng katawan. So yung chi and blood na sobra na po siyang next host. 
the pulse can become rapid in advanced cases of cancer. Kung may cancer naman po na, maging rapid na. Even the absence of heat pattern. So in a patient suffering from cancer, this is often a bad sign indicating a poor prognosis and potentially a rapid spread of the cancer. Ay, ganun. May mga cancer patient po tayo. <laughs> Pag pinals po natin na rapid, samahan na natin talaga yan ang kasal. The pulse can become rapid in extreme chi deficiency. Again, reflecting an empty by the body's chi to cope with its demand. The pulse can become rapid in yin fire. The concept of yin fire was introduced by Li Dong Yuan in his famous book, Yung Discussion on Stomach and Spin. According to Li Dong Yuan, pag may irregular diet, overwork, and emotional stress, inahihina po nito yung ating stomach and spleen at ang ating original chi. So kung ang original chi ay nag-decline na, the minister fire become pathological and rises from the space between the kidney to harass the heart and pericardium. So Li Dong Yuan called this yin fire not to be confused with empty heat. Yin fire daw po yun. The pathological minister fire, example po dito yung yin fire, displaces the original chi because they both occupy the same space in between the kidneys. For this reason, Li, Duang, Li Dong Yuan says that the yin fire is a threat of the original chip. Nakukuha nung yin, yung original chip na gagamit niya. So this, in this kind of pathology, there may be, ka, may be some cold symptom and sign arising from a deficiency of the original chip. Mahirap po kung mawawala, nawawala na yung original chip natin kasi yun yung pantulong sa lahat ng process ng katawan natin. Hindi ba yung original chip, yung nakatago yung sa kidney natin, yung kidney essence. Example, cold feet. Ayun, pag malalamig na po ang paa. A feeling of cold and failed tongue. And some heat manifestation from the rising of the yin fire. Yun, pag nalalamig na po yung mga paa kasi, madali ka na rin makaramdam ng mga sakit. Possible po. Madali ka rin sumakit ang tiyan. Sa hindi nagbalance po yung lamig ng paa. Marami tayong nararamdaman na unbalance at sakit na po sa katawan. Kaya kapag may nararamdaman ang pasyente natin, minsan kailan mo hawakan yung paa. Pag talagang sobrang malamig yan, dapat mabalik po natin na mapanormal yung init ng paa. Yan. Kasi andun po yung sign din nung, nung gene essence na si, natin, yung U1Chi, na normal. A feeling of heat in the face and a rapid pulse, arousal of the yin fire is treated not by clearing heat, so, kailangan po natin itonipa yung original chi with sweet and warm herbs. So, according to ano yun ano, the representative formula for this is sa, si Bo Jung, Yi Chi Tang. So, itonipa yung daw po, tonifying the center and benefiting chi decoction. As yin five derives from deficiency of the original chi, if the latter dominates, the pulse may be slow rather than rapid. So yung original chi daw po dapat with sweet and warm herbs. A rapid pulse may also simply indicate nervous tension without any heat. So this is usually found in people who are constitutionally nervous. This patient will most probably have a heart crack on the tongue. Ayan, tingnan po ninyo yung mga dila uli. Pag may mga crack na po yan, pwede may rapid pulse. So, situation when the pulses is rapid, rapid for reasons other than heat, emotional is upset, severe chi and blood deficiency from overwork, so may cancer po, extreme chi deficiency, may yin fire, nervous tension. So the following factor may also cause the pulse to become temporarily rapid in the absence of heat. So kahit walang heat, pwedeng bumilis ang pulso. 
Kung siya ay merong vigorous physical exercise. Kung meron siyang heavy meals. Kasi mag-work na maigi yung kanyang ano eh. Partunawin. Kung merong alcohol, si hit yun. Kaya magpapas din ano. Kung siya naninigarilyo, kung uminom siya ng tea, kung pwede siya sa coffee, kung siya ay fried, tatakot, emotional upset. Kung meron siyang mga herbs, example, ito pong ano, mahuang. Yan, then, orange Kung meron din siyang anemia. So, heat syndrome, indication po, rapid part, plus forceful, siyempre, forceful, excess po yan, kaya excess heat. Pag rapid in thin, siyempre, thin deficiency, kaya yin deficiency. Rapid and hollow, so blood deficiency. In biomedicine, yung may mga febrile disease po, yung may mga various anemias, may acute hemorrhagic shock, may acute myocardial infarction, may acute pericarditis, congestive heart failure, acute rheumatic fever, myocarditis, and hyperthyroidism. So, ang pathogenic po dito, excessive pathogenic heat increases the circulation of the chi and blood, which causes the pulse to quicken. Yan, dahil may init, pinipilit niyang bumilis ka. Yan, pag deficiency naman po, yin or blood deficiency causes a relative hyperactivity of yang. So, mas malakas yung yang kasi mahina yung yin, which causes the pulse to quicken. So, remarks, physical or emotional activities can temporarily increase pulse rate. So, tandaan po natin yun. So, ang combination po, rapid full, Indicates po na mayroong full heat from excess of the yang. Pag rapid empty, indicates hem empty heat from deficiency of yin. Mababa yung yin. Kaya tumaas yung yang. Empty, rapid empty yun. Pag rapid floating, denotes invasion of external wind heat. Yan, papasok pa lang po yung pathogenic factors. Rapid dip, nasa loob na ang heat. Nasa loob na ng katawan. So, ang mga organs na yan. Rapid overflowing indicates full heat. Usually in stomach, lungs, or heart. Pag rapid fine, so denotes empty heat from yin deficiency. Mababa yung yin, kaya mas heat. Mas matas yung yang. Rapid floating, empty, indicates empty heat from yin deficiency. Wala po yan sa normal level yung yin. Kaya mas yung yang ang nararamdaman ng pulso, mas malakas. Mas maano. Bilis. Rapid wiry indicates liver fire. Rapid slippery denotes phlegm heat. Rapid deep pool indicates interior fire in the stomach and the intestine. Rapid wiry big indicates blood heat. According to Dr. Shen, this pulse may seem when there is too much glucose or cholesterol in the blood. Ayan, yung mga may alta presyo nating pasyente. So, karaniwan po, ang kanilang pulso ay rapid wiry big. Puno daw ng cholesterol yung blood. So, differentiation of similar pulses. Ito pa yung hasty. Balikan natin. Hasty pulse is rapid and stop at irregular intervals. Pipitik, tapos mawawala. Yan, then pitik, 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 tapos mawawala po. Irregular, hindi para-para yung bilang na pagdito. Whereas the rapid pulse is regular. Yung rapid pulse po, regular ang interval niyan. Okay. Rapid irregular pulse, the pulse beats rapidly with irregular pulses. Na-explain na natin, ano? Traditional description, it feels very agitated and urgent. So, katulad daw po ito ng a man running and suddenly falling down. So, key points, rapid, regular poses. Other translation, as the abrupt skipping. Ayan po yung kanyang pulse image. Ayan po, pitik-pitik na marami, tapos stop, tapos pitik-pitik ulit. So, indication po. Excess syndrome, rapid irregular, and 
pulse pull. Lagi po lang ating tandaan ulit, pag excess ay may pulse pull. Excess heat, pwede po dahil sa excess heat or may stagnation. Pag deficiency naman of some organ, so rapid irregular forceless. Lagi lang tandaan natin po, pag deficient, forceless. Yan ang yung disharmony. So, in biomedicine po, pag mayroong excitation of sympathetic nerve, kung mayroong infectious or viral pathological changes in the myocardium or sinus tachycardia accompanied with obvious sinus irregularity. So, pathogenesis, when excessive heat accelerates the blood circulation, the pulse will be rapid. Yan po. When stagnation of pathogen causes blockades, the pulse will be irregular. Excess heat can give rise to stagnation and stagnation can cause heat. Malinaw na po dun, ano? Pag yung deficiency naman, give rise to a rapid pulse. In time, this leads to deficiency of yang which limit the heart ability to push. Siyempre, yung yang kasi yung nabuutos na dumaloy ka, siyang nagpapano para gumalaw. Then kung kulang po siya, kulang nang magpupush sa blood. Kaya nagkakaroon ng resulting irregular pulses. Nagipin muna siya ng lakas bago uli ma makadaloy. Kaya yun naramdaman natin yung irregular na pagtitik pulso. So remark, in cases of congenital variation, this pulse could prove to be the normal pulse for some individuals. So kung may congenital variation. Next is hurried. Ito yung hurried ng mga madali. Ano? The hurried pulse beat, beats 7 to 8 times per breath cycle. So mabilis. It's regular and gives the sensation of being hurried and anxious. It feels extremely agitated and urgent. So the racing pulse is rapid and beats more than 7 times per practitioner breath or 140 to 180 beats per minute. It is extreme version of the rapid pulse. Ibig sabihin yung racing, mas malala. Extreme version ng ano. Its rhythm is generally regular. Regular naman po yung rhythm niya. Extremely rapid. So other translation, hurried, urgent, and swipe. Yan po yung ano niyo. Racing, 140 beats per minute. So indication po niyan, so, racing and force pull. And racing and forceless. Pag force pull po, hyperactivity of yang and excessive heat. And sobra pong active yung yang ng kawan. Pag, yin, pag racing and forceless, ma yin exhaustion. May ina na po yung yin. And anti-pathogenic cheek collapse. So in biomedicine, hypertensive cardiopathy, coronary heart disease, hyperthyroidism, myocarditis, pericarditis, auricular flutter, or with regular 2 over 1, atrioventricular block, or functional tachycardia. So, ang pathogenics po niyan, uh, pag-exhaust na po yung yin, with hyperactivity of yang, dahil sobrang, sobrang pong active yung yang, or excessive pathogenic heat, yung mga pumapasok sa atin na sanhinang sakit, can causes accelerate of the blood flow and high pulse rate. So remark, this is critical pulse po yan. However, this pulse rate is considered normal sa mga healthy infant, sa mga bata po. Yung mga bagong silang. So moving. The moving pulse is rapid and short. It is shaped like a bean and give the impression of vibrating rather than pulsating. The rapid pulse is simply rapid and does not have any of the above attributes. Moving pulse. Description, the pulse is rapid and slippery. The middle portion, the pulsation is forceful. Original description, like a bean bouncing in the vessel with well-defined peaks but without head or tail. Shape is short and round, slippery and rapid. 
forceful in the middle position, other translation is still spinning, being bouncing. Ayan po yung pag-image. Nung nakaraang uh, gabi po, na pag-aralan na rin natin to, nire-review lang natin. Ayan, pag pinulsan po ninyo, pag pinato nyo ang kamay, mas nararamdaman nyo yung pagtaas. Ayan. Then, short siya. Kahit paikutin mo yung kamay mo, hindi mo mararamdaman sa mga gilid ng kamay. Ng fingers pala. <coughs> So, indication po kung meron siyang pain tsaka fright. So, the moving pulse is a sign of struggle between yin and yang. So, chi and blood stagnation causes pain and yin and yang fight and cause a disharmony of the ascending and descending of chi and blood. The pulse follow this violent up and down movement. So, pag may fright naman, yung emotional siya causes chi and blood Disturbance and confusion. This leads to the pushing outward of the chi and blood, leading to the moving pulse. So, remarks po nito, the moving pulse can be seen in pregnant women and their first trimester, at which time this is considered a normal pulse. So, sa mga buntis at first trimester, normal po ang moving pulse. So, clinical significance and its position, according to Li Shishen, Pag prone position po, naramdaman natin ang moving parts, pwede po siyang may sore throat, tongue or mouth ulcer, vomiting or blood of blood, cough, lung, abscess. Pag sa middle position po, meron siyang stomach fire on the right middle position, liver fire on the left middle position. Rear position, nor is the yin and clear fire. Thank you, Paul, for your attention.